Well, it's that time of year again. As 2023 knocks on our front door, let's take a look at many of the fun and exciting things that we captured and attended at the beach this past year. What's happening everybody? It's Beachy with the Boons and there's so much that goes on here at the beach it's hard to catch everything on film but we did our best. So here's a look at 2022 year in review. In January we found Judy Boons in Merle's Inlet. As their awesome country cooking and great prices quickly placed them on the map. We also covered the five best breakfast places in Myrtle Beach for the winter, which was very convenient because January the 13th through the 23rd was restaurant week here at the beach. So we put a spotlight on the hot tomato in Myrtle Beach. And if you missed it this past year, make sure you put it on the calendar for next year. In February, the weather was so nice, we tried out the new Aero Club short course on Highway 17 and spotlighted the new Shine restaurant in the Market Common. And then ended that month with a Mardi Gras celebration in Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach. Try to attend that one this year if you get a chance. In March, we tried out the new Bruiser's Burgers in Surfside Beach and was knocked out by their delicious dishes. Then caught one of the most beautiful sunsets from the Garden City Pier. But we finished the month in Merle's Inlet, where they held their 8th annual Oyster Roast and Bloody Mary contest with some of the area's best mixes on the Grand Strand. Now that's an event worth attending. With April warming things up, we had a chance to get some great food on the boulevard at the Beach House in Myrtle Beach. But you can't kick in the new season without making your way to the Myrtle Beach Food Truck Festival for everything under the sun. Or hit the Myrtle Beach Barbecue Festival for delicious barbecue. Both events took place in the field where the pavilion rides used to sit. And then there was May. We tried out the new marina restaurant K Ray's on the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway in Merle's Inlet. And then had some delicious food at the famous Peaches Corner. You know exactly where that is. But nothing says spring like the Myrtle Beach Bike Rally at the Beaver Bar in Merle's Inlet. With the sun brightening up June, we hit the brand new hangout at Broadway at the Beach. Had a great lunch at the new Chimichamalama Cantina in Surfside Beach and tried some delicious burgers at the Art Bar Ocean View Restaurant. Yeah, the one that sits right on the boardwalk in Myrtle Beach. Now, the 4th of July on the beach is one of our favorites. 
But Hoto's Heralds on the Ocean at the Spanish Galleon in North Myrtle Beach came in at a close second. But we finished off July with some great oysters right on the waterway. At none other than Clearwater Oyster Raw Bar in Myrtle Beach, a dock and dine restaurant. In August, we had a fun day on the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway in North Myrtle Beach, where we rented a pontoon and cruised up past the North Carolina line. And then made our way to Myrtle's Inlet to get some outstanding and delicious food from the new Fat Boys restaurant. But we couldn't finish out the month without checking out the new additions to the brand new boardwalk in Myrtle Beach. In September, with the summer quickly closing out, nothing says Labor Day like a great Myrtle Beach beach day. But of course, What's a great month without going to the Surfside Beach Pro-Am Surf Festival to see the long and short boards hitting the waves? And then we ended the month with one of our favorites, the World Championship Chili Cook-Off in Myrtle Beach. With the summer gone, October was here. And you know what that means. Which is night out in Merle's Inlet. Where everyone's a witch, whether they want to be or not. But it doesn't have to be all scary. As you can see, when we went to the Little River Shrimp Festival that was packed with people. But I must confess, we finished up the month at the Broadway at the Beach Halloween Bash. Now that was an event. In November, we made our way to the Salty Pickle in Garden City. It's a secret sports pub at the Royal Garden Resort known only by the locals. Oh wait. I suppose now it's no longer a secret. But one of our best discoveries was Bolano's IGA in North Myrtle Beach. This place is absolutely a must see. But what says November better than the 18th annual Oyster Roast in Merle's Inlet? This event was so popular, they had to stop selling tickets as they would have run out of oysters. No lie. Ending out another great year in December, we hit the 38th annual North Myrtle Beach Yachts for Tots Christmas Light Boat Parade. This event is for a wonderful cause. And videos doesn't do it justice. However, nothing says Christmas like one of our favorites, the Merle's Inlet Christmas Parade. Dentists all around the state love this parade because of the candy. I knew you were confused. And of course, nothing finishes out a great year without going to the Knights of a Thousand Candles at Brook Green Gardens in Merle's Inlet. You better plan way in advance for this event, and believe me, it's worth it. Well, 
That's a look at just a sample of what happened around Myrtle Beach and the surrounding beaches for 2022. We know 2023 will be just as exciting. We hope to see you out and about this coming year at some of these beachy events and festivals so you can keep beaching.